What's up guys, welcome back to The Piston Show, I'm Kashi Dillon and today we have here with us the Jaiku J7 Plug-in Hybrid. Now, this is a car that I've already driven and I'll add a link to our review of the J7 Plug-in Hybrid somewhere in the description box below. In this video, I want to actually explain what makes the J7 Plug-in Hybrid so special. Because underneath this gorgeous body is something called a super hybrid system. What does that mean? How far does it take you? How much power does it give you? I'll explain everything there is to know about the Jaiku J7 Plug-in Hybrid's Super Hybrid System in this video. So stick around. Now, besides the engine, at the heart of the Jaiku J7 Plug-in Hybrid is a lithium-ion phosphate battery rated at 18.3 kilowatt hour. It's placed right underneath the car. And if you step far back, it's actually quite obvious. In fact, even the ride height of the car is lower than the one of the regular Jaiku J7, the petrol version, I mean. Now, if you're wondering why is it placed so low, and if you're also wondering if that might pose a problem for you, well, I'm here to tell you that the battery pack is rated at IP68. Well, the correct term would be IP68 rated. So what does that mean? IP stands for ingress protection and the, term, and the number 6 denotes the fact that it is protected for dust. That means the battery cannot get dirty, la, even though you know it's damp today on our Malaysian roads. So, you, so water tends to be kicked up, you have mud, you have slush and all of that stuff. No, but none of that can go in because it's IP68 rated. And the number 8 in IP68 denotes the fact that it can be submerged under water for between 30 to 60 minutes. So in Malaysia, we always get you know, small flash floods and such. So you don't have to worry about your battery being damaged. Now, the ultimate protection is the fact that it has three layers of metal protection actually protecting the battery itself against deformation. So anything to do with the battery, especially its placement, well, you don't really have to worry because as I've said, it's IP68 rated. The Jaiku J7 plug-in hybrid has two beating hearts. One is the electric motor, which is powered by the 18.3 kilowatt hour battery, which I just told you about. And secondly is this, a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. Now, this is quite unique because at lower speeds, it acts as a generator to charge up the battery as you go. So that basically means that you don't always need to keep the car plugged in because you can actually charge the battery up to 80% using the engine alone. And at higher speeds, somewhere at highway cruising speeds and such, this, is the, and this basically does the, all of the heavy lifting for the Jaiku J7 plug-in hybrid. So essentially, it's a generator and yet an engine at the same time because as I said, it charges the battery and yet it moves the car. It also has, it transfers its power, in fact, through something called a super hybrid transmission. Now that basically means that there's no gearbox in the traditional sense. Keep in mind that the regular Jaiku petrol version, in fact, is uses a 7-speed DCT transmission. But this does not have a gearbox in the traditional sense. It works something like the Honda's system where power is driven directly to the wheels. It's in fact a very cool system. And it's rated at somewhere about 347 horsepower and 525 newton meters of torque. Top speed is rated at 180 kilometers per hour and acceleration is just about it, slightly over 8 seconds. But the beauty of this Jaiku J7 is the fact that you can actually plug it in. Now it can take up to 40 kilowatts of DC charging which will charge up the car from 30 to 80 percent in just 20 minutes and it also can go down low up to 3.3 kilowatts of AC charging which will charge it from 0 to 100 percent in about 8 hours or 6.6 kilowatts of AC charging which will take it up to 100 percent in just over 3 hours. Now this though will give it, if you get 100 percent 
it'll give you a NEDC range of 106 kilometers, but I have seen a real world range of a little over 80 kilometers, which is really, really good. And there are a couple of other things that actually help the Jaiku J7 plug-in hybrid attain its incredible efficiency. Now, if you look over here, under the under inside this massive infotainment screen, which by the way you also get in the regular petrol version, here you get something called a power mode, which by the way you can also access through these easy access buttons located right over here. So you get HEV and EV in the drive modes, and this is your air conditioning settings. So this is basically will give it auto. Lah. So let's turn it off for the sake of this video, otherwise it just get too noisy. So in power in HEV mode. Anywhere from 0 to 40 km per hour, you are driving in pure electric mode. From 40 to 60, for example, you are driving in power generation mode, where the, the engine actually works to create electricity for the electric motor. On top of, from 40 to 80, between, sorry, 60 to 80 km per hour, it is the electric motor and the engine that works concurrently. And anywhere above 80 km per hour, it's only the engine that is doing all of the, as I said, heavy lifting. Now, what's cool over here is that you don't always need to keep the car plugged in. If you get access to a charger, it's great. You know, you can charge, up, charge it up to 100%. Fantastic. And then you can rely on electric power alone to go about your daily business. But what if you don't have a home charger? What if you don't have access to easy chargers, yet you want the efficiency of an EV without the irritations of plugging it in? Let's call it that. This is where the Jaiku J7 plug-in hybrid actually works fantastically. But how do you charge it on the go? If you come closer, you select, you go under new energy and you go under power saving mode and you force charge it. As you can see, you can only force charge it up to 80%. So right now, I'm in force charge mode. So I left my home just now in Ara Damansara. At, if you can see this, it, I left at 50% battery charge. And now it's at 71% battery charge. From Ara Damansara to Sedang, under force charge mode, I attain 20% of battery charge, which is fantastic, guys. And on top of that, right, what happens then? How much does 71% give me? 71% gives me a standard mileage of 76 kilometers or dynamic mileage of 67 kilometers of electric range. That is quite fantastic because on the move, I have just basically charged the battery. And now I can go all the way back and beyond on pure electric power alone. Brilliant, isn't it? So for your day-to-day -day runabouts, the super hybrid system is just fantastic. It's convenient and it's fantastic. I think what Jaiku has achieved over here with the super hybrid system is that it has given you the best of both worlds. Because if you want to plug it in, if you have access to a home charger, for example, this is brilliant. You can charge it up every day or every other day and go about your daily business on electric power alone. As you can see, with just 71%, I have a dynamic mileage of 67 kilometers. What does dynamic mileage mean? It means acceleration, deceleration, stop, start and such. But if I go under standard mileage, which does not tell me all of these uh, does not take into account of the all of the acceleration and such it just gives me 76 kilometers which is quite decent la. so and this is just at 71 percent so imagine if i was at 100 percent so these are the little things that make the jaiku j7 plug-in hybrid such a brilliant everyday car and uh, i like the fact that all of these systems combined make it brilliant i like the fact that the battery is protected I like the fact that you can plug it in. I like the fact that it can self-charge. So I, and I like the fact that I can go well above 80 kilometers on electric power alone. What more could you want? And that, my friends, is the beauty of the Jaiku Super Hybrid System. I hope I've explained it to you as well as I could. I hope it, you understand it now. If you don't, 
leave me some comments below and I'll try my best to reply all of you.